Hello and welcome to my video where today we will be reviewing the BCF logo design. Okay, so if you've never heard of BCF, they are what you see here. They are the boating, camping, and fishing store. They're a chain in Australia. They're owned under a retail group that also owns Super Cheap Auto, Raise Outdoors, and Rebel Sports. They are a national company with lots of stores in every sort of major city. And they sell what you see, boating, camping, fishing. So today we're just going to go through the design itself, all the different design elements, what works and what's not working, why it suits them, and why it maybe doesn't suit a small business. For the first point I want to make, I want to say this is the logo review only. I'm not reviewing their business model, their stores, what they sell. I'm just talking about their logo itself. And it is what you see here. Let's get started. First impressions. Now I already know BCF before I made this video. I've been to their stores. I've bought stuff from them. So it's hard for me to say what my opinion was initially. Right now, looking at it, my first impression, you can tell right away it's professional. First and foremost, it's nice and clear. It's all vector. All the elements are there. It's balanced. The colors don't touch each other. The orange and the blue don't touch. It works. The downside, I guess, is that it's an acronym. In my opinion, acronyms are the hardest logos to do because they're just, you know, two, three, or four letters. And it's really nothing without the explanation tagline that these guys have as well. Boating, camping, and fishing is required for first timers because they don't know what BCF really is. And that's maybe their downfall with this logo, but we'll get to that. Looking at the top, we got the BCF here, and we've got reverse text, blue background, orange stroke outside. So it's really a shield shape logo. So you have the orange around the outside with a gap. It's one of my logo rules. I don't like two colors to touch, so they got that right. And then the blue water background. The shape is my only sort of concern here. I don't know if it was supposed to represent something or not. After I looked at this for a while, the only thing I could really come up with was that it may be a boat hull was my best guess for this shape. So you can see here on the sides, this would be the sides of the boat. So you're looking straight at a boat when it's out of the water. Um, and then at the bottom arc of the hull of the boat, and then this would, I guess, be the top rail of the boat. But then I feel like there would have to be a point here. So the, the tip of the boat would be pointing in this section here, but that's not there. But I would say that's as close as I can come up with. And if not the boat, I guess maybe they just wanted a sort of abstract shape. Next point. So we'll move on to fonts. So there's two for sure fonts in this logo up here i guess we, we could call the bcf a semi-serif font the b is definitely a serif it's got the two two serifs top and bottom on the left edge c has nothing it's just a straight c sans serif and then the f i don't know it has a serif but not in the right spot it matches the b obviously very well um, both sides have that little box serif that's suiting. The C in the middle, not a serif at all. And it looks like it's just been scaled straight up. So it was scaled, but then wasn't made thinner to match the B and the F. And just looking at this, why it's bigger, I can't tell you. A few guesses would be maybe they want to highlight camping or maybe that's the biggest department you can see also in the tm it's incorporated into it which is always good if you can incorporate it into the actual shape lockup to, to fit this in they actually shifted bcf to the left 
So it's all been moved over to help balance and give this enough room so it's not too tight to the F. If I do this, you can take a look. It's not centered anymore, but when you bring it back, you can see it's balanced now. Bounce at the bottom, another just straight, unslanted serif font, all in capital letters. It's got the slanted bullet points uh, reflecting here with the F and the B also slanted. Matches that real well. And all capital letters, again, same here. Everything's in all caps. Okay, so this main primary color is this little darker blue color. Obviously works great as the total relation to boating uh, and fishing and camping, right? You're camping near water, you're boating on the water, you're fishing on the water, you're on the ocean, you're on a river, on a lake. Blue is perfect for them. Secondary color, this nice orange highlight. These colors, obviously complementary. I've used them before in the past. They work well together, but really suits their brand well. You know, all that camping, high adventure stuff, it's super brightly colored, bright fluorescent pinks and greens and orange. And it really says fun too. That nice highlight of orange, you know, it's fun, it's excitement, really suits them well. Good job there. The downside to this logo, and it's really the only one I have, like I was saying earlier, is that acronyms are so tricky. This bit is essentially just three letters and that shield shape. But if you look at it without the tagline, does it work and does it communicate anything about boating, camping, or fishing? I think where this logo falls down a little is where it's not incorporating any of those visual pieces or elements of boating of camping or fishing i mean tent shapes you know propellers anchors uh, outboard motors camp chairs hatchets axes uh, sleeping bags you know all these great visual items and products that they sell could have been incorporated in some way but it, there is nothing there at all as a result you know you don't have the initial brand recognition that screams, I am a camping store. This is where the logo isn't getting that across. With the tagline, of course, it's there, but it's required. You can really never have this stand alone. And I don't think they do. I'm pretty sure they include this with the bottom tagline in everything they do. Now, this Although it isn't communicating perfectly what they do, this logo works for a larger business because they had the money. Like I said, this was a big retail group that owned four other national chains. They had the cash to spend a ton of money on branding so that you would associate BCF with their store, boating, camping, and fishing. So a smaller business would have trouble. These guys get away with it because they had the capital behind it to promote. They're in your face all the time. A smaller business trying to pull the same trick would have a horrible time. You don't have the cash and working capital to promote yourself everywhere like these guys do. Okay, this now is their standard version if it's on a white background. They also have a second version, this being their reversed. Although it is technically, it's the same logo. Something funny is definitely happening in the middle and I don't really understand. If you see them both together, you can get a better idea here. So you have the top BCF, which is already reversed. Then in the bottom, they colored this then orange. The outside orange is gone and the stroke is added to the orange and then another stroke outside that. So really, I don't know how this came to be. So there we have the reverse. I get not as clear here uh, as it is up here. Improvements would be simple, I guess. There's a bit of separation here between this tagline and the top shield. So this could have easily been arced 
into the shape here, sort of form fitting to the bottom arc of the shield. So it wasn't just a straight line of text under it. It's a bit disconnected, not really linked here to here. That would be one improvement. Another one would just be, I don't know, something in here. This C, when they scaled it up, it got fat. Maybe sticks out more. Maybe they, that was intentional, but it just seems so much bigger. It's obviously, it's taller and was scaled larger, but then it wasn't made thin again to match the B and the F. The client approved this in the end, and it's what they wanted. Stylistically, you can understand, you know, they're fun, uh, nothing's too formal, uh, they don't, they're not taking themselves too seriously, it's not a high-end place, it's also not a super cheap place, you know, their style really communicates well with what they sell. There's just nothing else there besides text in the shield. So that's your VCF logo. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you with the next logo review.